Welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol in the top right hand corner. This week begins so dramatically. Not only does Venus prepare to make its way into the sign of Capricorn, which occurs on Tuesday, we also still have Mars in opposition to Uranus. This combination creates a, an awful lot of electricity. Mars is impulsive, it's impatient, and in the sign of Scorpio, it's about desire. Uranus on the other side of the heavens, in the sign of Taurus, is about bringing innovation to our approach to self-worth and also money. So when it comes to resources, we could find ourselves feeling more impulsive. Then again, it could be around a romantic situation where there's an electric intensity that pushes us perhaps to do something in the moment rather than necessarily thinking about it. Venus moving into Capricorn is though a very stabilizing transit. By the end of this week, it's inching closer towards Ceres, the asteroid that's to do with nurture. And in the sign of Capricorn, this combination can be a stabilizing antidote to the electricity that Mars and Uranus are creating. And also Venus itself starts to link brilliantly with Uranus. So this can be a time when we can be a little bit more uh, creative in our approach to situations, but also it points towards being open-minded about the type of person or people we can find interesting to be with. Of course, Venus and Mars are then forging a lovely sextile from the middle of this week through to the end of the week, which can be so enhancing for all relationships. But there is a new moon which occurs on Tuesday too in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's asking us all to be open-minded, free-spirited, to embrace the more individualistic side of our nature and also just perhaps think about the way in which we can add greater variety to our existence. However, by the end of the week, Saturn and Pluto are getting closer together. It's a four degree gap. Usually I take into account three degrees, but that's just reminding us of the awesome power of this combination, which are watching over all of the events beneath them, if you like, in terms of the more interactive personal, uh, personal planets. But I do feel that this week can be a week of excitement, a week of drama, and it can be on the relationship front. It could be about our approach to resources or business, or the type of people that we spend time with. But the one thing it's not going to be is dull. Your specific forecast, Libra, suggests that with a new moon on Tuesday, in your sector of everyday thinking, communications with neighbors, siblings, technology interactions, you know, instant messages and emails, text messages and so on, that the next month can be an important time for you to to, to buzz and interact with people, but you've got a natural gift for this anyway, which was particularly showcased last week. And there may be a conversation that's still ongoing with someone where you are really enjoying having a repartee and maybe even flirting, or perhaps you're going out and mixing and mingling. But you know, Venus, your ruler, does move on Tuesday into a more reflective area. And it is going to be linking into the opposition between Mars and Uranus. Now, they are potentially making you quite restless, quite impulsive. There could be someone who really interests you romantically, or it could be you're still wanting to go for an item, uh, maybe that's a little bit more expensive. Just generally, you can find yourself quite uncharacteristically restless. But I think what Venus can do, particularly as it connects with Ceres, the asteroid of nurture, at the end of this week, is just try to anchor you down a little bit more. Because that restlessness that you're feeling needs to go somewhere. And understanding what it's about is going to be a key part of, of your week, I feel. 
it's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.